An inquest into the murders of Hannah Clark and her three children has heard her estranged husband called a domestic violence hotline less than 24 hours before he killed his family. But he wasn't reaching out for help. Disturbing CCTV footage shows the moment he bought the tools for his arson attack just two days earlier. And a warning, this story contains distressing content. It was no snap decision. Rowan Baxter planned to hurt those he claimed to love. Two days before he killed his family, the 42-year-old could be seen wandering the aisles of a hardware store, first looking at mower fuel, but ultimately deciding on buying a jerry can. The next day, he called a men's helpline, but the last thing he was looking for was real help. In a recorded conversation played to the inquest, an upbeat and laughing Baxter is heard asking the operator about behavioural change programs, but only to benefit himself in court. Not my idea, but apparently I have to do it. I'm not the one that has the problem, but I guess um, I'm just doing what I'm told. OK, uh, we have to do something about it. Well, I just think it's going to put me in a better position. 16 hours later, he drove to Camp Hill, stopping at a fuel station on the way before ambushing Ms Clark and his children inside their car. A psychologist who treated Baxter in the weeks before the murders was grilled about a glowing letter she wrote, despite knowing his behaviour was deteriorating. She admitted she believed he was just using their sessions for his own image management and to create good evidence for court proceedings, but couldn't tell a coroner why she still gave him such a good review. The court also heard from several DV support workers. They admitted it took more than a month to deal with Ms Clark's initial risk assessment because they were just too busy with other cases. They were also questioned about why they didn't pass on to police Hannah's disclosure that Baxter had strangled her against her will. One caseworker who can't be named told the coroner's court the detail wasn't shared because it was assumed they already knew and because it happened in a sexual setting, it would not be pursued. When it is sexual, they might not consider that strangulation. The court heard Ms Clark was deemed a high-risk case but was never escalated to the crisis team because she was never in imminent danger and support workers believed the system was working for her and she wouldn't fall through the cracks. The inquest is set to finish up tomorrow. Talissa Saganto, ABC News, Brisbane. And if this story has raised issues for you or anyone you know, you can contact Lifeline on 13114 or DV Connect on 1800 811 811.